Just off Lakeshore Drive, nestled next to Lake Michigan, that's where you find historic Soldier Field in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 from the 32 now. Here's first and 10 with the Cincinnati Bengals. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second down, here's Burrow. And caught right side, Green. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. An early test, two plays in. This is third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky, he'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards there and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. 56, Mike, 56, right there. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. The decision that time was to keep it and not a great one. Once he got out right with the football, there was just nowhere to go. And I felt bad for his offensive line there because their job is to create creases, right? Create openings. But if those defenders keep their shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and refuse to be budged, that's the end result. No place for him to turn up field. No chance to gain any yardage. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bengals will take over here, first and 10. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The credit that sack to Robert Quinn. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. 
often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely. And he's going to go down again. After screen, Joe Burrow sacked. A loss of six yards. And it's third down. That's the We're scoreless after one. No score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return, and the Bears take over. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen, and down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him, picks up three on that carry. From just shy of midfield, Trubisky, they'll roll him out right. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Now Trubisky on first down, sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 19-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out of and right up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second and nine, Trubisky. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he gets this inside the 10 to the nine. It's also a gain of nine. Give him nine on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. From the shotgun is Trubisky, trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On 
Second down, Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards there at a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. To the air again, Burrow on the screen, Bernard. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And it's third down. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And this is going to be incomplete. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, on the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at their 48-yard line. Trubisky now on the keeper. Now Trubisky lost the football, and the Bengals grab it, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. But toss left, Mixon. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. The loss there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From midfield now, Burrow. Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. 
And well, they obviously red man coverage their down. partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, what, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Now it's Burrow. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Burrow will throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go down at the 28. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Call it a three-yard game, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Bears will get the football back. Following the penalty, Montgomery. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down and four, Trubisky. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Tackle made there by Josh Bynes. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On second and nine, Trubisky. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Guards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From the 16, Trubisky. That's complete right around the 8. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of 8. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Draw play, Cohen. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run for it with Cohen, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Well, it took a while to get something, anything, on the scoreboard, but we finally have our first points of the contest. So the question now becomes, can they make this one stand up? And the way that these defenses have played, those three points almost have got 30, don't they? Yeah, those three points look like a miracle right now. Turn man Wilson. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, he'll step aside and be right back. The Bengals drive about to get going. I tell you what, it's kind of hard to imagine. They have not scored a single point, and yet they're in this position. A touchdown drive here, and they're in the lead. Normally, when you have zero on your side of the ledger on the scoreboard, you're a little bit discouraged. But when they look over and see their opponents, they don't see a number that's way out there. They don't see a number they can't attain. In fact, they can get it right here on this drive and potentially take the lead. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. 
And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well, and that would appear to be a face mask. So the penalty yards off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Bernard getting the handoff from Burrow. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four at the Bears' 32-yard line. Still time to go for the win, but they've got to get up and spike it quickly. Now Burrow to throw on second down. He's going to drop this one down to Bernard. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. this in the hands of Nixon and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 he was unable to shake free there and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game Fourth down, Burrow will give way to Randy Bullock for the Bengals' field goal. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, Burrow will give way to Randy Bullock for the Bengals' field goal. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. The kick is away. Now it's Patterson. And makes it across the 20 as his guys set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Tie game and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely take the knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 24. And he'll drop here to throw. 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. On third down, Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. He did not have a catch till that moment. Pretty good time for his first one, though, here in OT. I would agree with that. And just think about how they had to cycle through all the play sheets, right? Tried to find ways to get a lot of people the football. In this case, as you said, he hadn't had a catch all game. Now they find him in a key moment. Really well done. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 34-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. At the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky, middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 16. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say... It's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Eight-yard line. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. On second down now. It's Cohen, and he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Another chance to maybe end it right here. This is third and goal. 
They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Touchdown. Now, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.